Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to print pyramid star pattern so guys this is the pyramid star pattern as you can see we are going to have the number of rows being entered by the user over here and we are going to print all the stars in the form of a star pattern so the algorithm for pattern programs each pattern program has two or more than two loops the number of loop depends on the complexity of the pattern or logic so guys basically we can draw any star pattern based on our requirements and it depends on the logic that we have to put inside the the outer and the inner loops that we are going to use now the first for loop works for the row and the second for loop which is the inner loop works for the column and we are going to draw this pyramid star pattern now guys what will be the logic so for example as you can see this is having six rows over here and in the last row there are six stars over here now the very first row it is having how many number of spaces so it depends on that so as you can see if we count these number of spaces it is 1 2 3 4 5 so having the six rows on the first row we will be having five spaces first of all and after that we will be having one star and then in the next row it will be how many number of spaces it is 1 2 3 4 so on the second row it will be four number of spaces and then after that we are having our two stars over here and so on the sequence continues over here on the third row we have three space characters on the fourth row we have two space characters fifth row we have one space character and in the sixth row that is the final row we don't have any space character so this is the logic that we have to use in our java program so let us move to eclipse ide over here and first of all we will define the variable that is int row so this number of row you can take from the user or else you can define it over here so for simplicity i'll provide the row as 6 over here and we are going to draw the pyramid star pattern so what we will do is first of all we will have the outer loop so it will be int i it is equal to 0 and then i goes up to the value of the row variable over here that is i less than row and then we have i plus plus so guys it will go from 0 to less than 6 which is 5 so it will be six number of rows in our case now what we will do is first of all we need to draw the space characters it is five number of space characters over here on the first row so what will be the logic so over here we will be having another for loop that is int j it is equal to in this case we need to take the row so since we need to draw the five space characters over here it will be equal to row minus i since i will be increasing with the time the space characters needs to be decreased so row minus i will decrease the number of space characters over here and then finally since initially the row value is 6 and 6 minus i it will be equal to 6 itself so we need to do minus 1 so that we get the five number initially now this j the value will be five initially that's because row which is six right now minus i that is zero right now initially six minus zero minus one will give us five so five number of characters we need to draw and then j will be greater than or equal to one so basically j it will be going from the value that is five right now up to the value that is one so we will be having the five number of space characters after this we need to decrement the jth value this time because we are going from the highest value to the lowest value over here and then inside this loop what we will do is we will simply have the space characters using the print statement since we need all the space characters on single line so over here we have the space characters now after having all the space characters being printed we want to print this star value so star is one right now so what we will do is we will again have another for loop again we can use the jth value that's because the control flow already came out of this loop so we can use the jth value once again we cannot use the ith value because the control flow is still inside the outer for loop so we will be using the jth value once again and over here what we will do is j it is going from 0 up to j less than or equal to i so the initial case will be i is equal to 0 j is also 0 so j less than or equal to i meaning only once the control flow will go inside this loop so if it goes just once and that is what we need we just want to go inside the inner loop once so that we can print this star over here so j less than or equal to i and then we have j plus plus and then inside this again we will be having our statement and we will be having the print statement once again because we want all the stars to be printed on single line so we have star over here and then we have the space character over here so guys the very first time when the control flow comes over here int i it will be equal to 0 
is it less than the row value yes in this case so j value will be equal to 6 minus i which is equal to 6 once again and minus 1 which will make it as 5 and then j goes up to greater than or equal to 1 so 5 and then minus 1 which is 4 then 3 then 2 and then 1 so 5 times the control flow will go inside this loop and the space characters will be printed on the same line and then after that on the sixth character the j will be equal to 0 and j goes up to less than or equal to i in which case only once the control flow will go inside this because initially the value of i is 0 over here so after going just once this star will get printed over here and then we need to come out of this loop and now the control flow will come to the end of this outer loop as well and after this we need to have the star pattern on the next line so what we will do is after this second for loop we will simply have the print ln statement so that the control flow helps us to come on the next line on the console so guys when the control flow comes back over here once again i's value will be 1 after doing i plus plus so j value will be what now row is 6 6 minus i which is 1 right now so 6 minus 1 will be 5 5 minus 1 will be 4 so 4 times the space characters will be printed over here and then j is equal to 0 it goes up to less than or equal to i in which case the i's value is 1 right now so control flow will come two times over here that's because j is equal to 0 next time j is equal to 1 and it is yes equal to i right now so it will come once again second time but third time it will come out of the loop so only twice the star character will get printed and that is what we want over here the star characters should be printed twice the space characters will be four in this case so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we have got the pyramid star pattern over here as you can see we have six number of rows over here and that is how we have created the simple java program in order to print the star pattern so let us put the row number 10 over here so that we get the 10 number of rows in our case let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we are already having 10 rows over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and guys this is the way we can easily write our java program in order to print the pyramid star pattern depending on the number of rows that we want guys apart from this if you have any other star pattern to be printed it just depends on your logic what logic you put inside these for loops and ultimately you will be able to draw any star pattern that you want to draw so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to generate random numbers so stay tuned